Hi, it's Danny from dannysdesigns.com and today I thought I'd share a tutorial with you on how to make this stair step card. As you can see, it's the reason it's called that is because it's shaped like stairs and I've decorated each of the sides and the top of the steps. As you can see, it does fold flat so that you can mail it to somebody. The only thing is that it won't fit in your standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch envelope. So you do need a little bit of a larger envelope, but it does fold flat for storage or for sending to somebody. To start with, you need a four and a half inch by 12 inch piece of cardstock. And I'm using Mossy Meadow for this box. So to start with, you're gonna have the four and a half inch going across the top. And you, uh, you're gonna score it at one and a half inches. and three inches. Rotate it so the 12 inch side's going across the top and you're gonna score it all the way the length of the paper at every one and a half inch. So one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, and 10 and a half. When I made my first stair step card, I got a little bit overzealous and started folding it on all of the score lines. You don't wanna do that. Just leave it as it is. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut out some of the squares. So you have two columns here, and you're gonna leave those, and we're gonna come and cut down here, across, and we're gonna cut out four little squares right here. I know it's difficult to see on that cardstock, so I created a little uh, map, if you will, or a pattern so that you can see. I went ahead and did pencil marks down all the score lines so it's easier for you to see. Now the black lines on here, the really thick black lines are where we're gonna cut. The orange is the pieces that you're gonna completely cut out of the cardstock. So again, come over two columns. We're gonna cut out the top three right here and then in the middle, this one right here. Once you've cut those out, we're gonna cut an additional slit. So where all the pieces are missing, you're gonna cut over one on each side here and one on each side here. So grab your paper snips, come over two, cut down, cut over one, down again, over one, go back up, over one, and cut that piece out, and set that aside. Now again, where we cut these out, we're gonna cut slits on either side, and down here as well. One there, one here, One on that side and one on the top row. Okay, so now we are gonna do a little bit of folding but it's not gonna be on all of the score lines. So this is the side we started on. You have two full columns here and over here you have three columns. You do have a slit right here but you have three columns. You're gonna take this last one on the side with the three columns and you're gonna fold it underneath. And this is gonna be the base of our stairs. Now where we cut each of these flaps, you're gonna fold them on those score lines. One here, 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 and here, okay? The other two lines that you're gonna fold are these two right here. They're the ones that are right below the piece that's cut out. So right here and right here. And this is what's gonna form our box. So when you take these two pieces, sorry, let me fold it back in the original uh, way that we started. When you fold these around, like I said, this is gonna be your base. It's gonna come and sit down. You notice that where these two pieces meet, there's nothing to hold them together, okay? So for that, we need one more piece of cardstock. You need a one inch by four and a quarter inch piece, so it's the same length as this, and I have it scored half an inch straight down the middle. 
Now, if you cut your one inch by four and a half inch piece and then try to do your score line on your score tool, it's a little bit difficult. Sometimes the paper wants to move and it's really hard to hold a little teeny piece of paper still. So I'll show you a trick that Kathleen taught us at our downline meeting. Here I have a piece of cardstock. It's four and a half inches long, but it's a little bit wider than one inch. If you put this bigger piece on your score tool, close that, it's easier to hold it scored at half an inch, and then you put it in your paper cutter and cut it at one inch. And that way your score line is exactly where you need it. So I have this piece that has the score line down the middle. Go ahead and fold it. And as you can see, I've added a piece of sticky strip on each side of the score line. Okay, so I have this flipped over upside down. Again, I'm gonna take my scissors and use it to remove the back of my sticky strip, simply because I have a hard time getting it with my fingernails. Okay, fold it. You want the folded score line on the outside because that's gonna be our seam that's gonna uh, bind these two edges together. So bring this end up and you're gonna have the end of this line up with the edge of the score line. Adhere that in place. Peel the sticky strip off the other side. Wrap the other end around and again, line up this edge right here with that uh, score line that we made before. Okay, go ahead and pinch that into place. And now it's starting to take shape. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some adhesive on here and here and fold these over and that's gonna make our steps. So the bottom of the box is solid, the back of the box is open, okay? So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some sticky strip and adhere it in place. Okay, go ahead and peel the backs off, press it down, and that makes it a lot easier. Okay, fold the sticky side down first, and then line up the top edge with this, with the seam right here, I mean this, the score line right there, and then fold that over, make sure the edges line up, and press that together to form your step. And we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom step. The sticky strip just doesn't want to behave today. There we go. Again, fold the sticky side over, line up the edge with the score line on the other side. Make sure you line up these two edges as well and press them into place. Okay, and there you have it. Now, as you see, sometimes it tends to lean to the side. It doesn't want to stand straight up. You can fold it to the other side and it will stand up like that. What I wanted to show you next is once you have your stair step card base done, you want to fold your card flat and that's when you can decorate it. You're going to have three, you're going to need three pieces for the tops of the stairs and you're going to need six for each side. So you're going to want to have 15 pieces or small squares to decorate it. I already have mine done. Each one of these is one and three eighths inch and it fits perfectly inside each one of these little squares, which is one and a half inches. So decorate them however you'd like. Go ahead and adhere them in place. And once you're done, your card will look like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have fun making these stair step cards.